Exercise is a gray area for many people who have osteoarthritis, as well as some people who are trying to prevent themselves from getting it in the future. I think that no matter what stage you're in, exercise is important and one of the best things that you can do for prevention and treatment. Osteoarthritis, or OA, is one of the leading causes of joint pain and associated disability worldwide. It affects about one in six Canadians and that number is expected to grow in the coming years. Osteoarthritis can cause symptoms such as joint pain, stiffness, swelling, sometimes grinding noises in the joints. It is more predominant in knees, hips, hands and backs, but it can affect any joints. Osteoarthritis is characterized by degeneration of articular cartilage and other bony changes in the joint. It's actually the opposite of osteoporosis. Osteoporosis has a decrease in bone density, whereas in osteoarthritis, you have an increase in bone density and some bony growth in the joint, which we call osteophytes. At this point, we don't know what causes osteoarthritis, but there are many risk factors that we do know are associated with it. Some of these things, such as age, genetics, or sex, can't be modified, but there are also risk factors that we can change. More recently, osteoarthritis has been linked to metabolic syndrome, which is a group of conditions that often occur together, including increases in blood pressure, blood sugar, cholesterol, and obesity. And together, these increase your risk of heart disease and type 2 diabetes. Metabolic syndrome associated osteoarthritis is characterized by these symptoms and by low grade systemic inflammation. And studies have shown that for patients with knee osteoarthritis, that the symptoms of metabolic syndrome can cause an increase in severity and frequency of the symptoms of OA. By treating metabolic syndrome and those conditions, it can help with the prognosis of OA. So looking at lifestyle changes in terms of diet, sleep, and exercise can help decrease some of these other symptoms. So overall, the best thing that you can do, whether you have osteoarthritis or you're trying to prevent yourself from getting osteoarthritis in the future, is to exercise and stay active. You wanna make sure that your exercise program is the right intensity level for you, and that is an activity that you do enjoy doing and that you're okay with pursuing long-term because the best outcomes with exercise come from that long-term commitment to it.